All right, guys. Well, I've got a black mask fox squirrel here. And I've got its form. And I'm going to get him measured up because I already had this form on hand. So I may have to alter it a little bit, which I already did a pre-measurement before cutting this on. Okay. So I measure from the tip of the nose. Now I put him into the position of the form. And I'm going to take and measure from the tip of the nose down the spine to the base of the tail, lifting it up. And I'm right about almost at 13. And then for my form, I measure it. And I'm right about at about 13. It may be a hair longer. If I have problems fitting it over it lengthwise, I'll just take a little piece. You don't want to take it all out of one section. You want to take a little slither here and a little slither there. Kind of keeps it more natural looking. And I'll shrink it down that half inch if I need to. And then I took and I measured the girth, which I'm not worried about it. Went around the widest part of the center part of the body, which is right behind the ribs is where I like to go or right at the end of the ribs. We're a little under nine on this, which is fine because on this here, we are over nine. So I got plenty of room to stretch that over. Now what I'm gonna do is flip it over and I'm gonna make an incision from where the bottom of the neck meets here in the chest. I'm gonna make an incision down. I'm gonna stop short and then I'm gonna take and skin it all out and then I may take and cut it down here to the knees like a T across here. And maybe same thing up this or I may take and choose to do less sewing and leave it and cut this off in sections and then insert those get the body in there and then reattach all that and i'm going to show you how i do that okay normally on larger critters especially deer i use the paring knife which those of you following me have heard me mention before that that's what i like to use but i'm going to use this here scalpel right here because getting in around the head yeah, I need something just a little bit smaller and sharper. All right, like I said, I'm going to split it down the belly. I'll take the tail, use my tail puller, pull the bone out, get everything cleaned up, and get it into the tanning solution. I got it all skinned out. I did take it, and I came down past the wrist, about halfway across the top of the hands, and then I cut it and severed it at the wrist. I'm gonna get it into the tanning and then I'll pull it back out tomorrow and kind of work those details. Strip the tail down. Um, tomorrow I will take and turn the ears. Yes, even on something as small as a squirrel, take your time. You gotta turn it so that tanning solution can penetrate all the way through. If not, the hair will start to fall off the back in the inner ear because it could not penetrate like it needed to, okay? Secrets out for those of you who haven't watched before. Some of you already know I use the crow tan. It even comes with the instructions. Do your research online. Um, you can find the company to order it from. I'm not promoting them. I don't receive nothing from them for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my form prepped up a little bit. I'm going to get it into the tanning solution and pull it back out tomorrow. Really, the only tools you need is a good sharp blade, tail stripper, and then some kind of tin or, or side cutters to cut through the bone when you get down to the wrist area. All right, well, let's get it into the tanning solution. Okay, I just poured my crow tan into my measuring cup here. All right, and I've already took, mixed up my water bath with salt, and now I'm just gonna add in the tanning solution. All right, guys, now before I put it into the crow tan, I take, a metal rod and I'm using like this irrigation flagging landscape flagging rod and I stick it through there until it pops out the tip end of the tail 
then I'll take and remove it. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that Crotan can get in there and preserve that flesh down in there. If not, the hair is going to start falling out the tail. So then what I do next is I get this here little plunger and I'll start sucking up some of that Crotan bath and start squirting it on in there. Sucking it up, squirting it in there. Sucking it up, squirting it in there. Sucking it up, squirting it in there. Until it starts coming out the tip real good. Then I know that it's in there. And then I'll have the whole thing, like I said, I'm have it inside out and take it and submerge it and work it real good, getting all the air bubbles out. And then tomorrow I'll come back and start working those air remaining parts out of the feet, flipping the ears, turning the lips so that the tanning formula can get into that. All right, here we go. Let's get it in there. All right, well, you've made it this far. Well, I'm going to show you the next steps. We're going to take it out of the tanning. We're going to do a little bit of neutralizing, degreasing, final steps on making sure everything's turned and ready for mounting and how I get the form and everything prepped and ready. And then the final video will be us mounting it. All right, guys, you made it this far. We're almost there. Keep up with me. Thanks for watching.